everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie if you are new and welcome to my autumn baked spaghetti cook with me. So first of all we're going to need to take some spaghetti. The recipe calls for 450 grams but personally I find this a bit too much uh, even for the six people it's supposed to serve. So I think you could probably get away with doing 350 grams of spaghetti here. So next you're going to want to take one white onion and you're going to want to dice this onion. Um, now I hate cutting onions because they just make me cry and I've tried everything under the sun to avoid this um, but I have cut out my eye stinging expressions to save you the pain. Next you're going to want two garlic cloves. I like to peel the skin off these and then press them through my garlic mincer just so that you can get as much flavour as possible out of that garlic. I find that works a lot better than just chopping them with a knife. Next you're going to want to take some olive oil and pop that into your frying pan and turn the heat up on there. We're now going to get cooking our bolognese. So we're going to pop both our onions and garlic just into our frying pan with our olive oil and just let those onions soften and cook for a little while. Then you're going to grab some beef mince, the recipe calls for 500 grams and I am using the 5% fat beef mince. Um, I find you don't want too high a fat content on your beef mince for this, it just makes it taste a lot nicer and it's a lot less greasy. You're going to add those to the pan once your onions are nice and soft and you're going to just fry off those mints until they're nice and brown. So once your mints are all nice and brown, you're going to want to take one can of chopped tomatoes and we're just going to add those in. We're just going to add those into our beef and onion mixture and we're also going to add a little drop of water into there as well just to help make sure that the beef mints are all nice and coated in the tomato -y goodness. Now as we have added in some extra water with our chopped tomatoes I also like to add in a little bit of tomato puree just to help intensify that tomato flavour and then also after this I also like to add in a beef oxo cube and I just crumble that in and mix that into the bolognese. Okay, so once you've stirred in your oxo and your tomato puree, I also didn't show that I added in some mixed herbs into the recipe, into the bolognese, um, and stirred that in also. But now we just drain our spaghetti and we're going to combine the spaghetti and the bolognese sauce together into an oven proof dish ready to be put into the oven. And now for the 
final touches before we put our baked spaghetti into the oven we're just going to top it with some grated mozzarella I'm just using the Sainsbury's own grated mozzarella um, I find that it melts really really nice in this recipe so we're going to add a cup of grated mozzarella is what the recipe calls for but I kind of just eyeball it a little bit and then we're also going to add on the top some grated parmesan we're going to pop that in the oven and that's going to bake for around 20 minutes but basically you want to make sure that the cheese on the top is all melted and golden And here is the finished product. It doesn't look the best, but believe me, it tastes sensational. So that's my baked spaghetti. Enjoy! You're